Hi and welcome to a new tech stuff episode on my channel. Today I'm gonna talk about better flight drivers. These are the three drivers you can see in this area here on the start screen of better flight. Uh, the reason why I want to talk about it is you have two situations why you use this. First reason is you start in this hobby and you've installed the first time better flight and you usually need these three drivers to make better flight work on your windows or mac for sure today i'm i will go through a windows installation i have no idea about mac so don't ask me any questions about mac it's just windows 10 what i will show you but for windows 7 or 8 or whatever you use it will be pretty similar i go through these three drivers what happened to me recently that's the reason also why i show you the installation today uh, after a few windows updates suddenly a better flight didn't work in uh, bootloader mode so if i wanted to flash the firmware of my fc from my drone i wasn't able to connect so i can show you what happens i just connect my drone to better flight and connect it uh, regularly you can see on port there is com6 now so i can connect this works perfect i'm in all the settings i can do in pit tuning configuration ports whatever i want and i can disconnect but as soon as i try to connect my drone in bootloader mode and want to go uh, flash my firmware i can see here there is manual selection on the port uh, window and here you have to have DFU which needs to show because this shows the right connection. Manual selection is not good so you're not connected to a better flight and to this reason I have to reinstall the drivers to make all this work again so I will be able to flash my firmware again. The first driver I will install is CP210X. We just have to click the link here. Then we have the site, Silicon Lab site. You can find um, all the download links for different uh, computers, for Mac, Linux, Android. But what we need now is Windows 10. Then we're gonna save it where we wanna have it. So we can find it, then we have a folder on the downloads better flight drivers cp210x and do the download it's a small file so it's already done and we have to unzip um, the folder like this and then here we go Okay, now what I did wrong is I didn't take the 64-bit the version, so it's the other link if you have 64-bit uh, version of Windows, you need to click this link here, we go like this, okay, and then this is like a standard driver to install, nothing special to do, and that's already it for the CP210X driver. Second driver we will download is the STM USB driver. Click on the link here and then the download page pops up and then we can scroll down until we can see this download get software and if you click on it you have to agree the license agreement uh, to be able to download it and then there is a window which you have to log in or register or if you don't want to log in or register you just can put in your uh, first last name and email address to get the software and you will get an uh, email which gives you a link for the final download for this software so here's the message you get the email and then you have to click on the link in the email and you will get 
the link for download and this link will be only valid for 24 hours sometimes you have to wait for a few hours until you get the email to make the real download of the driver so after you got the email you have to click on the link and then this window comes up and you don't need to click anything the download starts automatically and as you can see the download already happened and that's all for the download for this driver so we can close this window we can go for the driver this is it and then we just place it where we want to have it Betaflight drivers stm driver and put it in here and now we can unpack it like this and so you have windows 8 or windows 7 driver for 32 bit or 64 bit and we need for windows 10 we need windows 8 driver there is no special windows 10 driver it's the same like windows 8 so let's go for this this is also a standard installation just the part which is pretty special is that you have to get this email to make the software ready for downloading. Here we go. Next, and put something in. Go, go. That's all. Just always go on, go on, finish the installation, and that's it. The last driver we use is the static driver, which we can get at the link here. Then you come to the static side, and it's the latest version you can see here 2.4. Just click on this and so we also gonna save it so we have all the drivers where we want to have them but it's not necessary to do this you can also uh, start the installation directly without saving on a located place and now let's start the static now the most important step is a bit special to finish the installation you have to connect your uh, FC from your drone in bootloader mode to the computer. That's very important because the static has to detect your FC in bootloader mode. And for this, we just after connecting, I just connected it. And then you can go to options and click on list all devices. And then you have to search for your device. And here you can see STM32 bootloader. Make really sure that you take this one, not anything else, because if you take anything else, it's possible that you damage some other drivers on your computer. So select STM32 bootloader like this, and then just click replace driver. And once we have done this, have to wait and then we have the message the driver was installed successfully let's close and here you can see now the driver is identical on both windows so that means the installation was successful now we can also go to better flight and have a check if this all worked. So I just rebooted uh, better flight and now I'm gonna connect the FC to uh, better flight and here we should have instead of manual selection we should have TFU. Let's have a look if this works and here we go. And as soon as you as it switches to TFU you're sure that everything is fine and you can go to firmware flasher 
and flash your firmware as you want to have it you have the 14f4 on it and then you can choose your current firmware you want to install and go on as known that's all for today i hope you liked the video give me a thumb up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe happy flying and bye bye